you have to be able to identify what kind of products would sell. Why would you want to create products that are going to be, uh, that are just going to languish somewhere? Nobody's going to look at them. So there's got to be demand for those products. And we do that by looking at existing products that are already selling. We also look at the competition. We look at the price points for those. Because if it's, there's no profit in it, if you can't uh, create a product with the proper cost versus the selling price, that doesn't make sense either. So that's what's involved in that first step of evaluating a winning product. Once you've done that, can we improve on that design? How do we create the design and make out our own design? So we actually have to create a design there. With the design, you're creating two files. You're creating the production file that goes on the product, and the other file is the mock-up. That's what you're going to put on the product page. Now we move to step three. We've got the mock-up, and we create an effective product page. What goes in the title? What goes in the description? How about other lifestyle photos, other photos that support the product? And then, okay, now it's listed, it's live, people can buy it. Let's get some traffic. Step number four, Amazon sponsored ads. You're studying with, uh, with Sandy Sandler. Let's direct some Pinterest traffic to that. Let's get some traction on that product. Let's get some eyeballs, clicks, and sales for that product. Step number five is to fulfill that order that you're getting. So back to the supplier that you actually, you know, you have that production file that you created in step number two. Now you give that to the supplier and have the supplier fulfill the order. And there's some nuances that you need to learn with Amazon because it's merchant fulfilled. So that's that fifth step. Other questions? Did I explain it too well? Ha, 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 ha.